Get ready for an adventure like no other. Join us as we uncover the mysteries of breathtaking landscapes and surreal sights that will leave you questioning what's real and what's not. From mystical temples to landscapes straight out of a fairy tale, each destination will spark your curiosity and take your breath away. Let's dive into the extraordinary and discover the magic of Asia's most unbelievable places. Our first destination is Zhangjiajie National Forest Park, a mesmerizing wonderland nestled in the Hunan province of China. This breathtaking park is famous for its towering sandstone pillars, which inspired the floating mountains in the blockbuster film Avatar. Imagine stepping into a real-life fantasy as you wander through lush greenery and marvel at these otherworldly formations. But did you know that Zhangjiajie is not just about its striking landscapes? It's also home to a rich diversity of wildlife, including the endangered Chinese giant salamander and the elusive clouded leopard. As you explore this enchanted forest, you'll encounter the Beilong Elevator, a record-breaking glass elevator built into the side of a cliff, offering jaw-dropping views of the surrounding scenery. But hold on tight, as this elevator holds the title of the world's tallest outdoor lift. Moreover, Zhangjiajie is steeped in history and legend, with ancient temples hidden among the misty peaks, adding an air of mystique to this already enchanting place. Whether you're an adventure seeker, a nature enthusiast, or simply someone in search of awe-inspiring beauty, Zhangjiajie National Forest Park promises an unforgettable experience that will leave you spellbound. Let's embark on a journey to the top of the world as we explore Mount Everest, the tallest peak on Earth. Rising majestically along the border of Nepal and Tibet, this iconic mountain stands at a breathtaking height of 29,032 feet, 8,848 meters above sea level. But did you know that Mount Everest wasn't always known by its famous name? It was originally called Peak 15 until 1856, when it was renamed after Sir George Everest, the British Surveyor General of India. Scaling Everest isn't just a physical feat. It's a test of endurance, courage, 
and human resilience. Every year, brave adventurers from around the globe set out on the perilous journey to conquer its summit, facing treacherous terrain, extreme weather conditions, and altitude sickness along the way. And despite modern advancements in mountaineering, Mount Everest remains a formidable challenge, claiming the lives of both novice climbers and seasoned professionals. Yet, for those who dare to dream and strive for the summit, reaching the pinnacle of Everest is an unparalleled triumph, a testament to the indomitable spirit of mankind and the awe-inspiring power of nature. Everest isn't just a solitary giant. It's part of a breathtaking mountain range that includes several other formidable peaks, such as Lhotse, Nupce, and Changtse. These towering summits create a dramatic landscape that captures the imagination of adventurers and photographers alike. Let's delve into the extraordinary marvel that is the Great Wall of China. Stretching over 13,000 miles, 21,000 kilometers across northern China, this architectural wonder is a testament to ancient engineering and ingenuity. Constructed over centuries by various Chinese dynasties, the Great Wall was originally built as a defensive fortification to protect against invasions from nomadic tribes and rival kingdoms. One fascinating fact about the Great Wall is that it isn't a single continuous structure, but rather a series of walls, watchtowers, and fortifications built over different periods of history. These sections were often connected by natural barriers like mountains and rivers, creating a formidable defense system that spanned vast stretches of rugged terrain. Moreover, the Great Wall holds a special place in human history as one of the most ambitious building projects ever undertaken. It's estimated that millions of laborers, including soldiers, peasants, and prisoners, contributed to its construction over the centuries. Some parts of the wall date back as far as the 7th century BC, while others were built or restored as recently as the Ming Dynasty, 1368-1644 AD. Despite its name, the Great Wall is not visible from space with the naked eye contrary to popular belief. However, it remains an iconic symbol of Chinese civilization and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, attracting millions of visitors from around the globe each year.
Let's journey to the heart of Cambodia to explore Angkor Wat, one of the most magnificent architectural wonders in the world. Built in the early 12th century by the Khmer Empire, Angkor Wat is not just a temple. It's a sprawling complex covering over 400 acres, 162 hectares, making it the largest religious monument on earth. What sets Angkor Wat apart is its stunning fusion of spirituality, artistry, and engineering. Its intricate bas reliefs depict scenes from Hindu mythology and historical events, offering a glimpse into the rich cultural tapestry of ancient Cambodia. Interestingly, Angkor Wat was originally constructed as a Hindu temple dedicated to the god Vishnu, but later transformed into a Buddhist temple complex. Moreover, Angkor Wat is aligned with astronomical phenomena, with its central tower symbolizing the mythical Mount Meru, the center of the universe in Hindu and Buddhist cosmology. Its precise orientation towards the west suggests it was designed to serve as a funerary temple, with the setting sun symbolizing the passage of souls into the afterlife. Despite centuries of neglect and the ravages of time, Angkor Wat has stood the test of time. Its towering spires and intricately carved galleries continuing to inspire awe and reverence. Today, it remains a sacred pilgrimage site for Buddhists and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, drawing visitors from around the world to marvel at its timeless beauty and profound spiritual significance. Let's embark on a journey to the ancient city of Bagan. Nestled along the banks of the Irrawaddy River in Myanmar, Bagan is renowned for its vast archaeological site dotted with thousands of Buddhist temples, stupas, and pagodas, creating a surreal landscape that transports visitors back in time. One of the most fascinating aspects of Began is its sheer scale and diversity of architectural styles. From towering spires to intricate sculptures, each structure tells a story of Myanmar's rich cultural heritage and the spiritual devotion of its people. At its peak, in the 11th and 13th centuries, Bagan was home to over 10,000 temples, earning it the title of City of Four Million Pagodas. But what truly sets Bagan apart is its unparalleled sunrise and sunset vistas. Imagine witnessing the sun cast its golden hues over a horizon adorned with ancient temples, creating a scene of unparalleled beauty and tranquility. It's no wonder that Bagan has become a mecca for photographers, artists, 
and spiritual seekers alike, drawn to its mystical charm and timeless allure. Moreover, Bogan is not just a relic of the past, it's a living testament to Myanmar's vibrant cultural heritage. Despite earthquakes, invasions, and the passage of time, many of Bagan's temples remain active sites of worship, bustling with pilgrims and monks engaged in prayer and meditation. Petra, also known as the Rose City, is an ancient archaeological site nestled in the desert of Jordan. This remarkable city was carved directly into the vibrant red sandstone cliffs by the Nabataeans over 2,000 years ago. Its stunning rock-cut architecture and intricate water conduit system astound visitors from around the world. But beyond its breathtaking facade lies a trove of lesser-known wonders. One fascinating aspect of Petra is its mysterious history. Despite being a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a symbol of Jordan's rich cultural heritage, much about Petra's past remains shrouded in mystery. Archaeologists continue to uncover hidden chambers, tombs, and artifacts, offering tantalizing clues about the city's inhabitants and their way of life. Additionally, Petra served as a crucial junction for trade routes between the Arabian Peninsula, Egypt, and Syria, making it a bustling hub of commerce and cultural exchange. As visitors wander through the narrow Sik Canyon and marvel at iconic structures like the treasury and the monastery, they can't help but feel the allure of this ancient wonderland, where every corner holds a story waiting to be discovered. The Taj Mahal, often called the Crown of Palaces, stands as a timeless testament to love and architectural grandeur in the heart of India. Built by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in memory of his beloved wife Mumtaz Mahal, this iconic white marble mausoleum is a marvel of symmetry and precision. However, the Taj Mahal's allure goes beyond its romantic origin story. One lesser known fact about the Taj Mahal is its unique color-changing phenomenon. Depending on the time of day and the light conditions, the pristine white marble of the monument can take on different hues from soft pink at dawn to shimmering gold at sunset. This mesmerizing effect adds an ethereal quality to the Taj Mahal, captivating visitors with its ever-changing beauty. Moreover, the Taj Mahal is not just a standalone structure, but part of a larger complex that includes lush gardens, reflecting pools, and intricately designed mosques. These elements not only enhance the monument's aesthetic appeal, 
but also serve as symbolic representations of paradise in Islamic architecture. As visitors marvel at the Taj Mahal's exquisite craftsmanship and timeless elegance, they become part of a centuries-old tradition of awe and admiration for one of the world's most enchanting wonders. Next on our list is Ha Long Bay, a mesmerizing seascape located in northern Vietnam. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is renowned for its otherworldly beauty, featuring thousands of limestone karsts and isles rising dramatically from the emerald waters of the Gulf of Tonkin. Beneath the surface of its tranquil waters lie ancient caves adorned with stalactites and stalagmites, creating surreal underground landscapes waiting to be explored. One such cave, Tian Kung Cave, or the Heavenly Palace Cave, captivates visitors with its intricate rock formations and ethereal atmosphere. But beyond its natural wonders, Ha Long Bay is steeped in folklore, with tales of dragons descending from the heavens to protect Vietnam from invaders. Legend has it that these dragons spewed out jewels and jade, forming the karsts and isles that dot the bay. Moreover, Ha Long Bay is home to floating fishing villages where traditional ways of life have persisted for generations. These communities live on wooden boats and rafts, relying on the bay's abundant resources for their livelihoods. Visiting these villages offers a glimpse into a way of life that remains intimately connected to the sea. Let's explore the enchanting Jeju Island, a jewel nestled in the sparkling waters of the Korea Strait. Known as the Island of the Gods, Jeju boasts a unique blend of natural wonders, cultural heritage, and modern attractions that captivate visitors from around the globe. One of the most fascinating aspects of Jeju Island is its volcanic landscape, shaped over millions of years by eruptions and natural forces. At the heart of the island stands Halasan, South Korea's highest peak and a dormant volcano. Halasan National Park offers hikers a chance to ascend its slopes, passing through lush forests, alpine meadows, and volcanic craters along the way. At the summit, 
adventurers are rewarded with panoramic views of the island and beyond. Beyond its volcanic wonders, Jeju Island is also home to a rich cultural heritage. The island's distinctive Dal Harubang statues, known as Stone Grandfathers, stand sentinel across the landscape, guarding against evil spirits, according to local folklore. Additionally, Jeju's Henyo, or Sea Women, are legendary for their freediving prowess as they harvest seafood from the ocean floor, a tradition passed down through generations. Let's embark on a journey to Borobudur Temple, a magnificent UNESCO World Heritage Site nestled on the lush Indonesian island of Java. This ancient marvel stands as one of the world's largest Buddhist temples, shrouded in mystery and majesty. Built in the 9th century, Borobudur is a testament to the architectural and artistic prowess of the Sailendra dynasty. Rising like a colossal stone mandala, the temple is adorned with over 2,500 intricately carved relief panels and 500 Buddha statues, each telling stories from Buddhist scriptures and Javanese folklore. Its symmetrical design, consisting of nine stacked platforms crowned by a central dome, represents the Buddhist cosmology of the universe. What makes Borobudur even more captivating is its spiritual significance and profound symbolism. Pilgrims and visitors alike ascend the temple's terraces in a symbolic journey from the earthly realm of desire and suffering to the transcendent state of enlightenment. The temple's unique architectural layout mirrors the path to nirvana, with each level representing a stage of spiritual enlightenment. But Borobudur's allure extends beyond its religious and artistic significance. Surrounded by lush forests and panoramic vistas of the Indonesian countryside, the temple offers a serene and contemplative atmosphere that transports visitors to another time and place. Let's set sail for the captivating Phi Phi Islands, a tropical paradise nestled in the azure waters of the Andaman Sea, off the coast of Thailand. Comprising six stunning islands, with Phi Phi Don and Phi Phi Lei being the largest and most visited, this archipelago is renowned for its pristine beaches, crystal clear waters, and dramatic limestone cliffs.
Phi Phi Islands have earned global fame for their breathtaking beauty, attracting travelers seeking sun, sea, and adventure. One of the most iconic spots is Maya Bay, famously featured in the movie The Beach. Beyond its postcard-perfect beaches, Phi Phi Islands boast vibrant underwater ecosystems, teeming with colorful coral reefs and exotic marine life. Snorkeling and diving enthusiasts flock to these waters to encounter tropical fish, reef sharks, and even majestic manta rays gliding gracefully beneath the surface. Welcome to the Maldives, a picture-perfect paradise scattered across the Indian Ocean like gemstones on velvet blue. Comprising over 1,000 coral islands grouped into 26 atolls, the Maldives is renowned for its powdery white beaches, crystalline waters, and vibrant coral reefs teeming with marine life. What sets the Maldives apart is its unparalleled luxury and exclusivity. This tropical haven boasts some of the world's most luxurious resorts, each offering private overwater villas perched above the turquoise lagoons. Imagine waking up to the gentle lapping of waves beneath your villa and stepping directly into the warm embrace of the ocean. But beyond its opulent accommodations, the Maldives is a haven for adventurers and nature lovers alike.
snorkelers and divers can explore the kaleidoscopic underwater world, encountering rainbow-hued coral gardens, playful dolphins, and graceful manta rays gliding through the currents. Let's delve into the awe-inspiring wonder of the Terracotta Army, a monumental archaeological find located in the Shanxi province of China. Discovered in 1974 by local farmers digging a well, this vast army of life-sized terracotta soldiers, horses, and chariots has since become one of the world's most iconic and captivating archaeological sites. Crafted over 2,200 years ago by order of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang, the Terracotta Army was intended to accompany him into the afterlife. What makes this archaeological marvel truly remarkable is its sheer scale and meticulous craftsmanship. Estimates suggest that the army consists of over 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots, and 670 horses, each meticulously sculpted with unique facial features, hairstyles, and armor, reflecting the diversity of the ancient Qin Empire. But beyond its impressive numbers, the Terracotta Army offers a fascinating glimpse into the military might and artistic prowess of ancient China. The soldiers were arranged in battle formations within three massive pits, symbolizing the emperor's desire to conquer even in the afterlife. Let's dive into the remarkable wonders of the Dead Sea, a natural marvel nestled between Jordan, Israel, and the West Bank. Renowned as the lowest point on Earth's surface, the Dead Sea is a unique saltwater lake that holds a wealth of extraordinary features and experiences. One of the most striking aspects of the Dead Sea is its incredibly high salt concentration, which is nearly 10 times saltier than the ocean. This high salinity makes it nearly impossible for most forms of life to thrive, hence its name. However, it also creates a buoyant environment where visitors effortlessly float on the water's surface, 
experiencing a sensation unlike any other. But the Dead Sea isn't just about floating. It's also renowned for its therapeutic properties. Rich in minerals like magnesium, potassium, and calcium, the Dead Sea's mud and water are believed to have numerous health benefits. Visitors flock to its shores to indulge in mineral-rich mud treatments and flotation therapy, which are said to alleviate skin conditions like psoriasis and eczema, as well as relieve muscle aches and joint pains. Mount Fuji, Japan's tallest peak and a symbol of natural beauty and cultural significance. Towering majestically at 3,776 meters, 12,389 feet, Mount Fuji, or Fujisan as it's affectionately known, is a stratovolcano that dominates the landscape of Honshu Island. One of the most striking features of Mount Fuji is its perfectly symmetrical cone, which is often shrouded in mist and crowned with a cap of snow, creating a scene of ethereal beauty. This iconic silhouette has inspired artists, poets, and pilgrims for centuries, earning Mount Fuji a revered place in Japanese art, literature, and mythology. Beyond its aesthetic appeal, Mount Fuji holds deep spiritual significance in Japanese culture. For centuries, pilgrims have embarked on arduous journeys to summit the sacred peak, seeking enlightenment and purification. Today, climbing Mount Fuji remains a popular pilgrimage and a rite of passage for many Japanese, especially during the summer months when the climbing season is open. Let's uncover the mysteries and magnificence of the Forbidden City, a UNESCO World Heritage Site located in the heart of Beijing, China. Also known as the Imperial Palace, this vast complex served as the political and ceremonial center of China for over 500 years, from the Ming Dynasty to the end of the Qing Dynasty. In 
Enclosed by towering walls and guarded by a moat, the Forbidden City is a testament to the grandeur and power of Imperial China. Covering an area of 180 acres, the complex comprises nearly 1,000 buildings, including palaces, halls, courtyards, and gardens, all meticulously designed and adorned with intricate architectural details and vibrant colors. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Forbidden City is its symbolism and layout, which reflect the cosmological principles of traditional Chinese philosophy. The complex is aligned along a north-south axis with the main buildings situated along the central axis representing the harmony between heaven and earth. Visitors can wander through the Hall of Supreme Harmony, the Hall of Central Harmony, and the Hall of Preserving Harmony, each serving specific ceremonial and administrative functions during the imperial era. Moreover, the Forbidden City houses a priceless collection of art and artifacts, including ancient paintings, calligraphy, ceramics, and imperial treasures. The Palace Museum, located within the complex, showcases over a million cultural relics offering a glimpse into the opulent lifestyle of China's emperors and their courtiers. Despite its name, the Forbidden City is now open to the public, allowing visitors to explore its storied halls and pavilions, stroll through its manicured gardens, and immerse themselves in the rich history and culture of Imperial China Let's embark on a journey to the enchanting region of Cappadocia, Turkey, where otherworldly landscapes, ancient history, and vibrant culture converge to create a truly unforgettable experience. Situated in the heart of Anatolia, Cappadocia is renowned for its unique geological formations known as Fairy Chimneys, and its rich heritage dating back thousands of years. One of the most mesmerizing aspects of Cappadocia is its surreal landscape, sculpted by centuries of volcanic activity and erosion. towering rock formations, carved by wind and rain into fantastical shapes resembling chimneys, cones, and pinnacles, dot the landscape, creating a scene reminiscent of a fairy tale. Visitors can explore these otherworldly formations up close, wandering through hidden valleys, ancient cave dwellings, 
and underground cities that once served as refuge for early Christians fleeing persecution. Moreover, Cappadocia is steeped in history and cultural heritage, with traces of ancient civilizations dating back to the Hittites, Persians, Greeks, Romans, and Byzantines. Visitors can explore archaeological sites such as Gurame Open Air Museum, a UNESCO World Heritage Site featuring rock-cut churches adorned with intricate frescoes, and Kaimakli Underground City, a vast subterranean complex carved into the soft volcanic rock, offering a fascinating glimpse into the region's past. Let's set sail for the stunning Raja Ampat Islands, an archipelago nestled in the heart of the Coral Triangle in Indonesia. Renowned as one of the most biodiverse marine regions on Earth, Raja Ampat captivates visitors with its pristine reefs, turquoise waters, and lush tropical landscapes. One of the most remarkable features of Raja Ampat is its rich marine biodiversity, which is unparalleled anywhere else in the world. The archipelago is home to over 1,500 species of fish, 700 species of mollusks, and 600 species of coral, making it a paradise for divers and snorkelers. Exploring the vibrant coral gardens and underwater landscapes reveals a kaleidoscope of colors teeming with tropical fish, majestic manta rays, and even the elusive whale shark. Nestled high in the cliffs of Bhutan's Paro Valley, the Tiger's Nest Monastery, or Paro Taktsang, is a sacred and awe-inspiring Buddhist pilgrimage site. Perched precariously at an elevation of over 3,000 meters, 10,000 feet, this legendary monastery is both a testament to Bhutanese spirituality and a marvel of architectural ingenuity. Legend has it that the Tiger's Nest Monastery was founded in the 8th century by Guru Padmasambhava, also known as 
Guru Rinpoche, who is credited with introducing Buddhism to Bhutan. According to folklore, Guru Padmasambhava flew to the site on the back of a tigress, meditating in a cave for three years, three months, three weeks, and three days to subdue a demon and bless the land. Today, the Tiger's Nest Monastery continues to draw pilgrims and travelers from around the world, seeking spiritual enlightenment and inspiration. The journey to reach the monastery is as much a part of the experience as the destination itself, requiring a challenging hike along steep and rocky trails that wind through dense forests and across rushing streams. Along the way, Visitors are rewarded with breathtaking views of the monastery clinging to the cliffside, seemingly defying gravity. The Patala Palace an architectural wonder and spiritual icon nestled in the heart of Lhasa, Tibet. Perched atop Marpo Ri, or Red Hill, this majestic palace rises over 3,700 meters, 12,100 feet above sea level commanding awe and reverence from all who behold its grandeur. Originally constructed in the 7th century by Tibetan King Songtsen Gampo, the Potala Palace served as the winter residence of successive Dalai Lamas and the seat of Tibetan government and religion. Over the centuries, the palace complex has expanded and evolved, resulting in the awe-inspiring structure we see today. The Patala Palace is a masterpiece of Tibetan architecture, comprising over 1,000 rooms, 10,000 shrines, and countless treasures, including priceless artworks, statues, and scriptures. Its towering white walls, adorned with intricate carvings and colorful murals, reflect the rich cultural heritage and spiritual significance of Tibetan Buddhism. One of the most sacred and revered sites within the Potala Palace is the Red Palace, which houses the tomb stupas of past Dalai Lamas and numerous chapels dedicated to Buddhist deities. Let's explore the mesmerizing beauty of Pamukkale, a natural wonder located in southwestern Turkey. Pamukkale, which translates to cotton castle in Turkish, is renowned for its stunning terraces of white travertine cascading down the hillside, creating a surreal landscape that resembles a winter wonderland.
formed over thousands of years by the mineral-rich thermal waters that flow from natural hot springs, Pamukkala's terraces are a sight to behold. As the calcium carbonate-laden water flows over the landscape, it deposits the mineral, creating pools and terraces that glisten in the sunlight. The resulting effect is a series of dazzling white travertine formations that appear as if draped in layers of cotton, hence the name Pamukkale. But Pamukkale isn't just about its unique geological formations, it's also home to the ancient city of Hierapolis, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Founded in the 2nd century BC, Hierapolis was a thriving Greco-Roman city known for its thermal baths and healing properties. Sagada, a picturesque town nestled in the Cordillera Mountains of the Philippines, is a hidden gem renowned for its stunning natural landscapes, rich cultural heritage, and unique traditions. Situated in the northern part of Luzon Island, Sagada offers visitors a serene retreat amidst lush greenery, rugged cliffs, and majestic waterfalls. One of Sagada's most iconic attractions is the breathtaking Sagada Rice Terraces, carved into the mountainsides by the indigenous Igorot people using ancient farming techniques. These terraces, which date back over 2,000 years, are not only a marvel of engineering, but also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, representing the ingenuity and resilience of the local communities. Sagada is also home to a network of limestone caves, including the renowned Sumaguing Cave and Lumiang Cave, which offer opportunities for spelunking and cave exploration. Inside these caves, visitors can marvel at stunning rock formations, underground rivers, and hidden chambers, making for an unforgettable adventure. The Ayutthaya Historical Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site located in central Thailand. Ayutthaya, 
once the capital of the Kingdom of Siam, was one of the most prosperous and influential cities in Southeast Asia from the 14th to the 18th centuries before it was razed by invading forces. Today, Ayutthaya Historical Park serves as a testament to the splendor of the ancient Ayutthaya Kingdom, with its impressive ruins, majestic temples, and towering Buddha statues scattered across the landscape. Visitors can explore the remnants of grand palaces, monasteries, and fortresses, marveling at the intricate architecture and ornate decorations that reflect the city's golden age. One of the most iconic sites within Ayutthaya Historical Park is Wat Mahathat, known for its famous Buddha head entwined in the roots of a banyan tree. This mysterious and evocative image has become an emblem of Ayutthaya's resilience and enduring spirit despite the passage of time and the ravages of history. Moreover, Ayutthaya Historical Park offers insight into the cultural and religious diversity of the ancient kingdom, with temples and monuments representing a blend of Buddhist, Hindu, and indigenous traditions. Let's explore the futuristic oasis of Gardens by the Bay, an iconic attraction nestled in the heart of Singapore. Spanning over 100 hectares, this award-winning garden complex is a harmonious blend of nature, art, and cutting-edge technology, offering visitors a truly immersive experience. One of the most striking features of Gardens by the Bay is its towering super trees, vertical gardens that rise up to 50 meters, 160 feet, into the sky. These iconic structures are not only marvels of engineering, but also serve as vertical gardens, 
housing a diverse array of plant species and creating a lush canopy that provides shade and shelter for visitors. Moreover, Gardens by the Bay is home to two massive conservatories, the Flower Dome and the Cloud Forest. The Flower Dome is the world's largest glass greenhouse, showcasing a breathtaking collection of plants from around the globe, while the Cloud Forest replicates the cool, moist conditions of a tropical mountain habitat, complete with a towering waterfall and mist-filled walkways. Let's take a serene stroll through the enchanting bamboo forest of Arashiyama, a natural wonderland nestled in the outskirts of Kyoto, Japan. Known for its towering bamboo groves, this ethereal landscape transports visitors to a realm of tranquility and natural beauty. As you enter the bamboo forest, you're greeted by a mesmerizing canopy of bamboo stalks stretching skyward, creating a serene and otherworldly atmosphere. The rhythmic rustling of the bamboo leaves in the breeze adds to the enchantment, evoking a sense of peace and harmony with nature. Walking along the winding pathways that meander through the forest, visitors are immersed in a world of lush greenery and dappled sunlight filtering through the bamboo canopy. The towering bamboo stalks, with their slender forms and swaying leaves, create a sense of calm and serenity, making it a popular spot for meditation and contemplation. embark on an adventure to the vast and mysterious Gobi Desert, one of the world's largest and most iconic deserts, spanning across northern China and southern Mongolia. Covering an area of over 1.3 million square kilometers, half million square miles, the Gobi Desert is a land of extremes, characterized by its sweeping sand dunes, rocky outcrops, and barren plains. Despite its harsh and inhospitable environment, the Gobi Desert is teeming with life, from elusive snow leopards and Bactrian camels to rare species of plants and insects adapted to desert conditions. The desert's unique ecosystem supports a diverse array of flora and fauna, 
with hardy plants like saxol trees and desert shrubs dotting the landscape. One of the most iconic features of the Gobi Desert is its towering sand dunes, some of which reach heights of over 200 meters, 650 feet. These majestic dunes, sculpted by the wind over millennia, create mesmerizing patterns and shifting landscapes that stretch as far as the eye can see. Visitors can embark on camel treks or dune buggy rides to explore these sandy wonders and witness the breathtaking beauty of the desert. The Rainbow Mountains of Zhangye, a geological marvel located in the Gansu province of China. These stunning mountains, also known as the Zhangye Dongxia Landform Geological Park, boasts some of the most vibrant and surreal landscapes on Earth. The Rainbow Mountains get their name from the kaleidoscope of colors that adorn their towering cliffs and jagged peaks. Created over millions of years through the process of sedimentation, mineral deposition, and erosion, the mountains feature layers of sandstone and mineral deposits in a dazzling array of reds, oranges, yellows, and blues. The result is a landscape that resembles a giant canvas painted by nature, with swirling patterns and striations that seem almost otherworldly. Visitors to the Rainbow Mountains can explore the park's network of trails and boardwalks winding their way through valleys, canyons, and towering rock formations. Along the way, they'll encounter panoramic viewpoints that offer sweeping vistas of the colorful landscape providing ample opportunities for photography and contemplation.
the Batu Caves, an iconic Hindu shrine and limestone cave complex located just outside Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. These sacred caves are not only a religious pilgrimage site, but also a popular tourist destination, drawing visitors from around the world with their natural beauty and cultural significance. The Batu Caves consist of a series of caverns and cave temples nestled within a massive limestone hill. The centerpiece of the complex is the Cathedral Cave, also known as Temple Cave, which houses a towering statue of Lord Murugan, the Hindu deity of war, victory, and wisdom. The statue, standing at 40.7 meters, 140 feet tall, is one of the largest of its kind in the world and serves as a striking symbol of devotion and faith. To reach the Temple Cave, visitors must climb a steep flight of 272 steps, flanked by colorful statues and vibrant murals depicting scenes from Hindu mythology. Along the way, monkeys playfully scamper about, adding to the lively atmosphere of the caves. Let's uncover the fascinating history and breathtaking beauty of Siguria Rock Fortress, a UNESCO World Heritage Site located in the cultural heartland of Sri Lanka. Let's uncover the fascinating history and breathtaking beauty of Sigiriya Rock Fortress, a UNESCO World Heritage Site located in the cultural heartland of Sri Lanka. Rising dramatically from the surrounding plains, Sigiriya is a colossal rock formation that has captivated travelers and historians for centuries. The king's ambitious vision resulted in a masterpiece of engineering and design, with elaborate gardens, reservoirs, and defensive structures carved into the rock. At the heart of Sigiriya lies the awe-inspiring Lion Rock, named for the gigantic lion paws that once flanked its entrance. Ascending the rock involves climbing a series of steep staircases and terraces, passing by ancient frescoes depicting celestial maidens known as the Sigiriya Damsels.
these vibrant frescoes painted on the rock face over a thousand years ago offer a glimpse into the artistic prowess and cultural sophistication of ancient Sri Lanka. Our next destination is the Shwedagon Pagoda, a radiant symbol of Buddhism and Myanmar's cultural heritage. Situated in the heart of Yangon, the capital city of Myanmar, formerly Burma, this magnificent pagoda is revered as one of the most sacred sites in the Buddhist world. At the center of the Shwedagon Pagoda complex stands a towering stupa, or pagoda, glistening with gold leaf and adorned with thousands of precious gemstones. Rising to a height of over 100 meters, 326 feet, the stupa dominates the skyline its golden spire shimmering in the sunlight and casting a radiant glow over the city. Legend has it that the Shwedagon Pagoda enshrines eight hairs of the Gautama Buddha, making it one of the most sacred pilgrimage sites for Buddhists around the globe. The pagoda's origins date back over 2,500 years, making it one of the oldest religious monuments in the world. Throughout its long history, the Shwedagon Pagoda has been rebuilt and renovated numerous times, resulting in its current majestic form. Embark on a journey to the Ethereal White Temple, also known as Wat Rong Khun, located in Chiang Rai, Thailand. This iconic architectural marvel is not just a place of worship, but a masterpiece of contemporary art that captivates visitors with its intricate design and symbolic significance. Designed by renowned Thai artist Chalermchai Chai Kosit Pipat, the White Temple is a vision of purity and spirituality, with its gleaming white exterior symbolizing the Buddha's purity and enlightenment. As visitors approach the temple, they are greeted by a dazzling facade adorned with mirrored glass and intricate sculptures that shimmer in the sunlight creating a mesmerizing play of light and shadow. Crossing the bridge over the sea of outstretched hands, symbolizing desire and worldly temptations, visitors enter the temple grounds and are surrounded by a surreal landscape of mythical creatures 
heavenly beings, and symbolic motifs. Every detail of the temple, from its ornate carvings to its elaborate murals, tells a story of Buddhist cosmology and the quest for spiritual enlightenment. The gardens of Suzhou, located in Jiangsu Province, China, are renowned for their exquisite beauty, intricate design, and profound cultural significance. Dating back over a thousand years, these classical Chinese gardens are a testament to the artistry and craftsmanship of ancient Chinese gardeners and landscape architects. Suzhou, often referred to as the Venice of the East for its network of canals and waterways, boasts a rich tradition of garden design that has been meticulously preserved and passed down through generations. The city's gardens are characterized by their harmonious blend of natural elements, such as rocks, water, plants, and pavilions, creating serene and contemplative spaces that evoke a sense of tranquility and harmony with nature. One of the most famous gardens in Suzhou is the humble administrator's garden, Zhuozheng Yuan, a UNESCO World Heritage Site renowned for its expansive water features, lush vegetation, and architectural elegance. This sprawling garden, dating back to the 16th century, is a masterpiece of classical Chinese garden design, with winding paths, arched bridges, and pavilions that offer breathtaking views of the landscape. Another notable garden in Suzhou is the Lingering Garden, Liu Yuan. Known for its intricate rock formations, winding corridors, and secluded courtyards. This garden, originally built in the 16th century, is a perfect example of the mountain and water style of garden design, with its emphasis on creating a naturalistic landscape that mimics the beauty of the natural world. In addition to the humble administrator's garden and the lingering garden, Suzhou is home to a wealth of other historic gardens, each with its own unique charm and character. The Chocolate Hills, located in the Bohol province of the Philippines, are a natural wonder that captivates visitors with their unique and breathtaking landscape. Comprising more than 1,200 conical hills, 
spread over an area of about 50 square kilometers, 19.3 square miles, these hills are named for their resemblance to chocolate kisses, particularly during the dry season when the grass covering the hills turns brown. Formed over millions of years through the uplift of coral deposits and the erosion caused by water and wind, the chocolate hills stand as a testament to the geological forces that have shaped the Earth's surface. The uniformity of their shape and size, coupled with their sheer number, creates a surreal and mesmerizing vista that stretches as far as the eye can see. One of the best vantage points to view the Chocolate Hills is from the observation deck at the Chocolate Hills Complex in Carmen, Bohol. From this elevated vantage point, visitors can admire the rolling hills and lush greenery of the surrounding countryside, with the Chocolate Hills standing out as a natural marvel against the horizon. Beyond their scenic beauty, the Chocolate Hills hold cultural and ecological significance for the people of Bohol. Legend has it that the hills were formed from the tears of a giant named Arogo, who wept uncontrollably over the loss of his beloved Aloya. The Karakoram Highway, often referred to as the Eighth Wonder of the World, is a legendary roadway that traverses the mighty Karakoram mountain range, connecting Pakistan's Islamabad with China's Kashgar in Xinjiang province. This engineering marvel stands as one of the highest paved international roads in the world, winding through some of the most breathtaking and rugged landscapes on the planet. Construction of the Karakoram Highway began in the 1960s as a collaborative effort between Pakistan and China, with completion in 1979. The highway spans over 1,300 kilometers, 800 miles, snaking its way through towering peaks, deep valleys, and glaciers, reaching altitudes of over 4,600 meters, 15,000 feet, at its highest point. Along its route, travelers are treated to panoramic views of snow-capped peaks, crystal-clear rivers, and dramatic gorges that leave a lasting impression of awe and wonder.
One of the most remarkable features of the Karakoram Highway is the Kunjarab Pass, situated at the Pakistan-China border, which serves as the highest paved international border crossing in the world. Travelers crossing the pass are greeted by breathtaking vistas of rugged mountains and pristine alpine meadows, as well as the opportunity to witness the convergence of cultures and traditions at this remote and strategic crossroads. Beyond its sheer size, Lake Baikal boasts remarkable biodiversity. Lake Baikal, With thousands of located plant and in animal Siberia, species found Russia, nowhere else on is Earth. not just any lake. It's the deepest the and lake is oldest home to the freshwater seal, lake in the world, or Nerpa, holding approximately 20% of the Earth's in the world, unfrozen surface as well as a diverse array of fish, including the omul and golomyanka. The surrounding forests and mountains are inhabited by this a variety of wildlife, body of water, including brown bears, over 600 sables, kilometers and 370 miles, miles in length and reaches depths of up to 1,642 meters, 5,387 feet. Its immense size and One unique of the most geological striking features of Lake have Baikal earned it the nickname is its crystal the Pearl clear of waters, Siberia, which offer recognition unparalleled visibility as a UNESCO and World support Heritage a rich site. underwater ecosystem. During the winter months, the lake freezes over, creating a surreal landscape of ice formations and frozen expanses that stretch as far as the eye can see. In the summer, the lake's pristine waters beckon visitors to swim, boat, and explore its shores. In addition to its natural beauty, Lake Baikal holds cultural and spiritual significance for the indigenous peoples of Siberia, who have lived along its shores for thousands of years. The lake is surrounded by a number of ancient villages and sacred sites, where visitors can learn about the rich history and traditions of the Buryat, Evenki, and other ethnic groups that call the region home. Nestled amidst the verdant hills of Malaysia's Pahang State, the Cameron Highlands is a picturesque destination renowned for its cool climate, lush tea plantations, and breathtaking natural beauty. Situated at an elevation of around 1,500 meters, 4,900 feet, Above sea level, this highland region offers respite from the tropical heat and a tranquil retreat into the lap of nature.
The Cameron Highlands is celebrated for its extensive tea estates, which carpet the hillsides in vibrant shades of green. Visitors can explore sprawling tea plantations such as the Bow Tea Estate and the Cameron Valley Tea Plantation, where they can learn about the tea making process, stroll through manicured gardens, and savor freshly brewed cups of aromatic tea while soaking in panoramic views of the surrounding landscape. In addition to tea plantations, the Cameron Highlands is home to a diverse array of flora and fauna, including rare orchids, pitcher plants, and exotic butterflies. Nature enthusiasts can embark on trekking trails that wind through mossy forests, pristine waterfalls, and cloud-kissed peaks, offering glimpses of the region's rich biodiversity and natural splendor. Jujaigu Valley, nestled in the mountainous region of northern Sichuan Province, China, is a pristine sanctuary renowned for its breathtaking natural beauty, vibrant turquoise lakes, and cascading waterfalls. Known as the Valley of Nine Villages, Juzaigu captivates visitors with its stunning alpine scenery, lush forests, and crystal clear waters. Designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Juzaigu Valley is famous for its series of colorful lakes fed by mineral-rich springs and surrounded by verdant foliage. Among the most iconic are the Five Flower Lake and the Long Lake, whose vivid hues of blue, green, and turquoise create a mesmerizing spectacle against the backdrop of towering peaks. In addition to its stunning lakes, Jujaigu is home to a network of waterfalls, including the majestic Norilang Waterfall, which plunges over 20 meters, 65 feet, into the valley below. Visitors can hike along well-marked trails that meander through the pristine wilderness, offering panoramic views of the surrounding landscape and opportunities to encounter native wildlife such as pandas, golden snub-nosed monkeys, and Tibetan macaques.
Let's venture into the otherworldly landscape of Kawa Ijen, a volcanic crater located in East Java, Indonesia. This mystical destination is renowned for its stunning turquoise-colored acidic crater lake and the mesmerizing phenomenon of blue flames that emanate from the depths of the volcano. Perched at an altitude of 2,799 meters, 9,183 feet, above sea level, Kawa Aijin is part of a volcanic complex that includes several other peaks. What sets it apart is its eerie beauty and surreal landscapes. As dawn breaks, intrepid travelers embark on a challenging hike to reach the rim of the crater, where they are rewarded with panoramic views of the surrounding mountains and the ethereal sight of the crater lake shrouded in mist. The highlight of a visit to Kawa Ijin is witnessing the otherworldly blue flames that illuminate the darkness of the night. These ethereal flames, caused by the combustion of sulfuric gases as they emerge from cracks in the Earth's surface, create a surreal spectacle that is both beautiful and haunting. Visitors can descend into the crater under the guidance of experienced guides to witness this natural wonder up close, though the journey can be arduous and requires proper safety precautions. In addition to its stunning natural phenomena, Kawa Ijin is also home to a sulfur mining operation where local workers extract sulfur from the crater's depths using primitive tools and methods. Gyeongbokgung Palace, a symbol of South Korea's rich cultural heritage and history, stands majestically in the heart of Seoul, the capital city. Built in 1395 during the Joseon Dynasty, Gyeongbokgung served as the main royal palace and political center for over 500 years, until it was largely destroyed during the Japanese invasions of the late 16th century. However, extensive restoration efforts have transformed it into one of Seoul's most iconic landmarks and a testament to the resilience of Korean culture. The palace complex is renowned for its grandeur and architectural beauty with magnificent gates, pavilions, and halls set against the backdrop of the scenic Bukhansan Mountain. One of its most iconic features is the Gyunjongjun Hall, the main throne hall where the king conducted state affairs and greeted foreign envoys. 
Visitors can admire the intricate details of the hall's wooden structures and colorful roof tiles, which reflect the artistic craftsmanship of the Joseon period. Another highlight of Gyeongbokgung Palace is the Gyeonghoru Pavilion, an elegant structure built on an artificial island surrounded by serene lotus ponds. This pavilion was used for royal banquets and ceremonies and offers breathtaking views of the palace grounds and the nearby mountains. Nestled along the border between China and Vietnam, Banjok Detian Falls is a breathtaking natural wonder that spans two countries, making it one of the most unique and picturesque waterfalls in Asia. As the fourth largest transnational waterfall in the world, Banjok Detian captivates visitors with its majestic beauty towering cascades, and lush surrounding landscapes. Measuring an impressive 30 meters, 98 feet in height, and spanning over 200 meters, 656 feet in width, Banjiok Detian Falls is a magnificent sight to behold. The waterfall is formed by the Khe Sun River, which flows from China into Vietnam, creating a series of cascades that plunge over rugged cliffs and limestone formations. Visitors to Banjiok Dachin Falls can admire the stunning views from multiple vantage points along the riverbanks, where they can witness the thundering roar of the cascading water and feel the refreshing mist on their skin. Boating tours are also available, allowing visitors to get up close to the waterfall and experience its raw power and beauty from the water. Nubra Valley, cradled amidst the towering peaks of the Ladakh region in northern India, is a stunning desert oasis that captivates visitors with its surreal landscapes, ancient monasteries, and vibrant cultural heritage. Located at an altitude of around 3,000 meters, 10,000 feet above sea level, this high-altitude desert valley is renowned for its dramatic scenery with rugged mountains, barren plains, and verdant oases dotted with poplar and willow trees. One of the most iconic features of Nubra Valley is the shimmering Shock River, which winds its way through the valley, nourishing the fertile lands and providing a lifeline for local communities. Visitors can explore the riverbanks on camelback, riding the double-humped Bactrian camels that are native to the region and adding to the valley's exotic charm.
Nubra Valley is also home to a number of ancient monasteries and cultural landmarks that offer insights into the region's rich history and heritage. Diskit Monastery, perched atop a hill overlooking the valley, is one such highlight, housing a towering statue of Maitreya Buddha and offering panoramic views of the surrounding mountains and plains. Nestled amidst the vast steppes of Kazakhstan lies a geological wonder that rivals the grandeur of the world's most famous canyons. Charon Canyon, located in the Charon National Park, is a breathtaking natural spectacle characterized by its towering rock formations, dramatic cliffs, and vibrant colors that change with the shifting light of the sun. Formed over millions of years by the erosive forces of wind and water, Charon Canyon stretches for over 150 kilometers, 93 miles, along the Charon River, creating a labyrinth of gorges valleys and pinnacles that beckon adventurers and nature enthusiasts alike. The canyon's unique landscape is a testament to the power of nature and the geological processes that have shaped the Earth's surface over millennia. One of the most iconic features of Charon Canyon is the Valley of Castles, a section of the canyon characterized by its towering rock formations that resemble ancient fortresses and citadels. Visitors can hike along the valley floor, marveling at the sheer scale and intricacy of the rock formations and immersing themselves in the natural beauty of the surrounding landscape. In the heart of the Karakum Desert in Turkmenistan, there exists a surreal and otherworldly site known as the Door to Hell, or the Darvaza Gas Crater. This enigmatic phenomenon is a massive crater that has been burning continuously for decades, emitting flames and gases that light up the desert night with an eerie glow. The story of the Door to Hell dates back to 1971, when Soviet geologists accidentally drilled into a natural gas cavern, causing the ground to collapse and create a large crater. Fearing the release of poisonous gases, they set the crater ablaze, hoping that the fire would burn off the escaping methane gas. However, the fire never went out, and it has been burning ever since, turning the crater into a blazing inferno that has captured the imagination of travelers and adventurers from around the world. Today, the door to hell has become a popular tourist attraction, drawing visitors who come to witness the spectacle of flames leaping from the depths of the earth. The crater measures approximately 70 meters, 230 feet, in diameter and 20 meters, 66 feet deep, and its fiery glow can be seen from miles away, casting an eerie light over the surrounding desert landscape. Mount Bromo, located in East Java, Indonesia, 
is an iconic and active volcano that stands as a symbol of the country's natural beauty and spiritual significance. Rising to an altitude of 2,329 meters, 7,641 feet, Mount Bromo is part of the Bromo Tengger Semeru National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site renowned for its stunning landscapes, volcanic craters, and cultural heritage. One of the most popular attractions at Mount Bromo is the sunrise viewpoint at Penanjakan, where visitors gather in the early hours of the morning to witness the breathtaking spectacle of the sunrise over the volcano. As the first light of dawn illuminates the horizon, the surrounding peaks and valleys are bathed in a golden glow, creating a magical and unforgettable experience for all who witness it. Beyond its scenic beauty, Mount Bromo holds deep cultural significance for the Tengjeris people, an indigenous ethnic group who inhabit the surrounding area. Each year, the Tengjeris hold a traditional ceremony known as the Kasada Festival, during which offerings of crops, livestock, and other goods are thrown into the crater of Mount Bromo as a gesture of gratitude and appeasement to the mountain gods. For adventurous travelers, Mount Bromo offers opportunities for hiking, trekking, and exploring its otherworldly landscapes. Visitors can hike to the rim of the crater and peer into its steaming depths, or venture further afield to explore the lunar-like terrain of the surrounding sand sea, known as the Tengger Caldera. One of the most exhilarating experiences at Mount Bromo is the opportunity to witness a volcanic eruption up close. While the volcano is relatively active, eruptions are usually minor and pose little danger to visitors. Wangoshu Waterfall, located in the Guizhou province of China, is one of the largest and most magnificent waterfalls in Asia. As the largest waterfall in China by volume, it cascades dramatically over a wide cliff, creating a breathtaking curtain of water that plunges into the pool below. With its thundering roar and misty spray, Huangguoshu is a spectacular natural wonder that captivates visitors from around the world. Standing at a towering height of 77.8 meters, 255 feet, 
and spanning 101 meters, 331 feet in width. Huangushu Waterfall is an awe-inspiring sight to behold. Its name, which translates to yellow fruit tree, is derived from the lush vegetation and fruit trees that surround the waterfall, adding to its scenic beauty and natural charm. Visitors to Huangoshu Waterfall can explore a network of trails and viewing platforms that offer different perspectives of the majestic cascade. The most popular vantage point is the Waterfall Viewing Pavilion, where visitors can stand directly in front of the waterfall and feel the power of the rushing water as it crashes down into the pool below. Another highlight is the Water Curtain Cave, a natural grotto located behind the waterfall, where visitors can walk behind the cascading water and experience the misty spray up close. Nestled in the heart of southern China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region, Guilin is renowned for its breathtaking landscapes, dramatic limestone karst formations, and serene rivers. With its picturesque scenery and rich cultural heritage, Guilin has long been celebrated as one of China's most iconic and beautiful destinations. The centerpiece of Guilin's natural beauty is the Li River, which meanders through the region's karst landscape, framed by towering limestone peaks and verdant forests. Cruising along the Li River is a popular way to experience Guilin's stunning scenery with travelers treated to panoramic views of iconic landmarks such as Elephant Trunk Hill, Reed Flute Cave, and the stunning karst formations that line the riverbanks. Beyond the Lee River, Gillen is home to a wealth of natural wonders, including the famous Longji Rice Terraces, where terraced fields cascade down the mountainsides like a series of giant steps, creating a breathtaking patchwork of greenery that changes with the seasons. Visitors can hike through the terraced fields, marveling at the ingenuity of the local farmers who have sculpted the landscape over centuries.
In the heart of Gifu Prefecture in central Japan lies Shirakawa-go, a picturesque village that transports visitors back in time with its traditional Gashozukuri farmhouses and stunning natural beauty. Recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Shirakawa-go is celebrated for its well-preserved architecture, which includes unique farmhouses with steep thatched roofs designed to withstand heavy snowfall during the winter months. These iconic Gasho Zukuri houses, named for their resemblance to hands clasped in prayer, are a testament to the ingenuity of the village's inhabitants and reflect the agricultural traditions of the region. Visitors to Shirakawa Go can explore these historic structures, some of which date back over 250 years, and gain insight into the daily lives of the villagers who continue to maintain them. Beyond its architectural wonders, Shirakawa Go is surrounded by breathtaking natural landscapes, including lush forests, rolling hills, and pristine rivers. Visitors can embark on scenic hikes, stroll along tranquil paths, or simply relax and soak in the serene atmosphere of the countryside. Nestled along the central coast of Vietnam, Hoi An is a charming and picturesque town steeped in history, culture, and timeless beauty. Known for its well-preserved ancient architecture, lantern-lit streets, and vibrant culinary scene, Hoi An captivates visitors with its unique blend of old-world charm and modern-day allure. Once a bustling trading port dating back to the 15th century, Hoi An boasts a rich cultural heritage shaped by centuries of international influence. The town's historic district, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a treasure trove of architectural wonders with well-preserved merchant houses, assembly halls, and temples lining its narrow alleyways and bustling waterfront. At the heart of Hoi An's charm, are its iconic lanterns, which adorn the streets and buildings, casting a soft, warm glow that illuminates the town's ancient quarters after sunset. Visitors can stroll along the lantern-lit streets, soaking in the romantic ambiance and admiring the intricate craftsmanship of these colorful symbols of good fortune and prosperity. Hoi An is also renowned for its vibrant culinary scene, 
offering a tantalizing array of dishes that showcase the flavors and ingredients of central Vietnamese cuisine. From savory street food stalls to elegant riverside restaurants, visitors can sample local specialties such as K.O. Lo noodles, bang mi sandwiches, and savory rice pancakes, each bursting with the bold and aromatic flavors of the region. In the scenic Cordillera Mountains of the Philippines lies Banawe, a captivating destination celebrated for its ancient rice terraces, vibrant cultural heritage, and breathtaking landscapes. Renowned as the eighth wonder of the world, the Banawe rice terraces stand as a remarkable testament to the ingenuity of the Ifugao people who painstakingly carved these terraces into the mountainsides over two millennia ago. Spanning over 10,000 square kilometers, 3,900 square miles, and reaching altitudes of up to 1,500 meters, 4,900 feet above sea level, the Banawe rice terraces form a mesmerizing patchwork of tiered fields that cascade down the mountain sides. These terraces are not only a marvel of engineering, but also an enduring symbol of sustainable agriculture, having supported generations of Ifugao farmers for centuries. Visitors to Banawe are treated to awe-inspiring views of the rice terraces from viewpoints such as the Banaue viewpoint, offering panoramic vistas of the terraced landscape and surrounding mountains. Adventurous travelers can also embark on treks through the terraces, immersing themselves in the cultural traditions of the Ifugao people and discovering remote villages nestled within the mountains. Our next stop is Wadi Rum, an otherworldly desert expanse in southern Jordan that has captured the imaginations of travelers and filmmakers alike. Fondly referred to as the Valley of the Moon, Wadi Rum's surreal landscapes 
are marked by towering sandstone mountains, vast red sand dunes, and labyrinthine canyons, creating a scene straight out of a science fiction epic. What makes Wadi Rum even more captivating is its rich cultural history, dating back thousands of years. This desert wilderness has been inhabited by various civilizations, including the Nabataeans, who left their mark in the form of rock carvings, inscriptions, and ancient ruins scattered throughout the region. Bedouin nomads have also called Wadi Rum home for centuries, preserving their traditional way of life amidst the harsh desert environment. Visitors to Wadi Rum can embark on guided jeep tours or camel treks to explore the desert's hidden gems, from the towering cliffs of Jebel Um Ishrin to the iconic rock formations like the Seven Pillars of Wisdom, named after T.E. Lawrence's famous book. Adventure seekers can also try their hand at rock climbing, with numerous routes catering to climbers of all skill levels. For a truly immersive experience, spending a night under the star-studded sky of Wadi Rum is an absolute must. Bedouin-style campsites offer the chance to sleep in traditional goat hair tents, dine on delicious local cuisine cooked over an open fire, and listen to captivating stories told by Bedouin guides, all while surrounded by the serene beauty of the desert. Huangshan, also known as the Yellow Mountain, is a legendary mountain range located in Anhui Province, China. Renowned for its breathtaking scenery, mystical atmosphere, and ancient cultural heritage, Huangshan has inspired poets, artists, and travelers for centuries. Rising majestically above the surrounding landscape, Huangshan's peaks are often shrouded in swirling mists and clouds, creating a surreal and ethereal atmosphere that is both enchanting and mysterious. The mountain range is famous for its dramatic granite peaks, deep ravines, and gnarled pine trees that cling tenaciously to the sheer cliffs. One of the most iconic features of Huangshan is its Sea of Clouds, a phenomenon where clouds gather and flow around the mountain peaks, resembling waves on an ocean. This mesmerizing spectacle can be witnessed at sunrise or sunset when the sky is ablaze with hues of pink, orange, and gold, casting a magical glow over the landscape.
Our final destination is Tegalalang, a captivating area in Bali, Indonesia, renowned for its stunning terraced rice fields and lush green landscapes. Located in the heart of the island, Tegalalang offers visitors a mesmerizing glimpse into traditional Balinese agriculture and a tranquil retreat amidst nature's beauty. Tegalalang is best known for its iconic rice terraces, which cascade down the hillsides in intricate patterns, creating a breathtaking patchwork of greenery that stretches as far as the eye can see. These terraces are not only a marvel of agricultural engineering, but also a testament to the harmonious relationship between humans and the natural environment. Visitors to Tegalalang can explore the rice terraces on foot or by bike, following winding paths that meander through the fields and offer panoramic views of the surrounding countryside. Along the way, travelers can encounter local farmers tending to their crops, offering a glimpse into the traditional farming practices that have sustained the community for generations. As we come to the end of our journey through these wonders of Asia, we're reminded of the incredible diversity and beauty that this continent has to offer. From mystical landscapes to ancient ruins, each destination has left an indelible mark on our hearts. So, as we bid farewell to these extraordinary places, let's carry with us the spirit of adventure and discovery. Who knows what other hidden treasures await us just around the corner? Until next time, may our travels be filled with wonder and joy.